Hey everybody, me again. Just a quick check in with you all. Today was a crazy day, but tomorrow is going to be even crazier. And I want to give you a quick kind of a level set of some of the stuff that I'm thinking about. So as usual, math, money, freedom. That's what this channel is all about. Uh, I want to check in and, and talk about the day we had. A crazy day today, one of the biggest days I've ever had. And talking with a lot of people on Patreon, same thing for those guys. Huge Bitcoin returns, Ethereum returns, Cardano returns, MicroStrategy out of control, Tesla, Trading Desk, Palantir, uh, big, great day for everybody. But I don't want people thinking these types of days happen all the time. It's extraordinary. And I don't want people to get too confident uh, because that can be dangerous. So be happy with the day that we had, uh, but don't expect it tomorrow. Uh, in fact, a day like today may not happen for six months or a year or many times. So again, it's very important to not get carried away by the market. Now, on that note as well, and why I'm putting this video out is kind of like a PSA, public service announcement. So two weeks ago in my part one video for the Coinbase IPO, I reckoned the IPO cost per share would be $490. And the nature of me is I don't want to mislead anybody so I have revised my numbers upwards but again what I'm going to think is going to happen tomorrow is I think IPO the IPO will open between 570 bucks and 650 dollars that means a market cap of 118 billion to 132 billion now that is absolutely huge and let me show you how big that actually is if you look at the size of the market caps of the the ICE, which is New York Stock Exchange, and the NASDAQ, those combined wouldn't even be $85 billion. Add in the CBOE, etc. Coinbase will be bigger than all these exchanges. And that's the kind of scary thing. Now, it's very important to understand that, yes, Coinbase, their earnings were really spectacular and they're making a ton of money because bitcoin's on the rise but if ever anything happens with bitcoin a year from now it'll be hard but the other thing i want to stay as well is what's going to happen so thousands of employees are going to cash in tomorrow what will they do with the cash now this is the unanswered question that i know is on everybody's mind it's on my mind maybe they're not going to sell at all maybe they're going to hold their coinbase shares or will they do this they're going to buy Bitcoin with it. So that's my theory. I think a lot of money will flow back into the crypto markets, the Bitcoin markets, some of the top altcoins, because these thousand employees that are going to be selling all their stock tomorrow, they know crypto, they know fiat currency, and they know Coinbase, and they know Coinbase is overvalued probably. So they're going to plow their money back into Bitcoin. Of course, they can't do it in real time. It'll take time for things to settle. We all know how the traditional banking system works, and it's very slow. So think about that tomorrow. Now, the conclusion for you all, as always, tomorrow, I want you all to be careful. I know some of you are still going to try jump into this IPO thinking, Oh, well, if the market cap is 600 billion, it's going to go to 900 billion. It can't. That's just not possible. If you do want a piece, be very, very careful. Maybe get a tiny slice and watch and wait and be patient and wait for things to settle down. It'll be an interesting day tomorrow, but I just want everybody to be careful out there and uh, be safe. If you like this content, again, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already. I care for all of you out there. Be safe. Bye.